So you're sitting there late at night. You have to go to bed, but you want to put on a download first. The download only takes an hour, and you feel guilty of heating the planet by leaving your beast of a gaming computer on for the entire night. So what do you do? You could go online and find yourself a perfectly usable shutdown timer, but does that really fulfill your inner call to do everything yourself? Of course it doesn't. That's why I'm here to help you build your own with the power of Windows 10's built-in command line program, PowerShell. And if that intro didn't sell this video to you, then I don't know what will. What you see here is our shutdown timer. It's the one we're going to create. You type in the amount of hours or minutes you want your computer to stay on, hit enter and the timer is set. To create this timer, we need to open up what's called PowerShell ISE. It's PowerShell's scripting environment, a program that is easy to write scripts in. It should already be installed in your computer. When you open the program, you might only have the blue command line window showing. If that happens, just press the new script button on the toolbar. The first thing you want to add to our script is a way to get some kind of input to know when to shut down. We can do that with the read host command. Add dash prompt and type in the question you want answered. As you can see, our answer gets output to the screen. We instead want to save it to a variable. You can declare variables with a dollar sign. I'm going to save the input of the read host command to the wait variable. Let's see if our answer got stored in the wait variable. Type in dollar sign wait and hit enter. As you see, it stored our input. So we will start our script with this command. The next thing we need to do is to create some logic that will understand our input and shut down our computer at the right time. We can do this with an if statement. To make the if statement, we type in if and then put our condition in parentheses. The like keyword is a comparison operator that will check for all occurrences of a word or a letter in our wait variable. In our case, we search for the h and execute one or more commands if it's true. We specify the commands that the if statement will run by putting them in brackets. We will first display how long it will take for the computer to shut down. The command for this is write output. We put our message in quotes and we use this special notation with a dollar sign and parentheses to get the number value of our variable. Inside the brackets we put our variable. And we do some operations on the contents of the variable. First we use the to lower operation to make sure all the letters are lowercase. Then we use trim end to remove the h from the variable. Now it should only give us the number of hours left until shutdown. The next thing we need to do is to start the shutdown timer. To do this we use the shutdown.exe program. We can add many kinds of arguments to this program but we're only after the shutdown mode and how long it is until it will shut down the computer. Our script will just shut down like normal and therefore we use the slash s argument. We also give it the slash t argument to specify the time left until shutdown. The time left until shutdown will be given to the shutdown command with our wait variable. But again, we have to use the dollar sign and parentheses notation to be able to get the value from our variable. And we also again have to do some formatting to the content of the variable. We have to make sure that the letters are lowercase. Then we have to remove the letters so we only have the number left. And at last, we need to do something that might make you a little bit confused. You see the variable now only contains our number, but it's stored as a string, so the computer kind of just sees it as a word and not a number. Therefore we have to turn it into a number with the dot to int command. Pick the one with the number 32. Now for it to work we have to put in dollar sign null in the parentheses, and don't ask me why. We're now telling the if statement what to do if the input is in hours. And that means that the wait variable holds a number that corresponds to some amount of hours. But the shutdown program will only take seconds as its input, and we therefore need to multiply this with 3600 to get the time until shutdown in seconds. We use the start sleep command to make sure the window doesn't instantly close. Give it 5 as an argument to make our window show for 5 seconds before closing. We've now completed most of our script. It's still missing what to do if the input is in minutes or if the input is invalid, but it's mostly just copy-paste and adjusting some existing code. 
To check if the input was in minutes, we type else if, then we tell it to check if the input has min in the string. Copy paste the code from above, change the h to min and the number we multiply with to 60. Lastly, we write else. This means that none of the two conditions above return true, so we tell it to just return a message that tells the user that they must have typed something wrong. Make the window stay open for 5 seconds. Congratulations, you have now made your own shutdown timer. Before we can test it, there is one last thing we need to do. Your computer don't trust custom PowerShell scripts out of the box, so we need to change that. This is safe to do, but make sure you don't download and run any random PowerShell script off the internet without knowing what it does. To test the script, simply right click it and choose run with PowerShell. I'm going to type in 2 hours, and as you see there is no error message. So the program should work now. Thank you for watching. If you're stuck and need any help, feel free to leave a comment with your problem and I'll try to help you out. PowerShell is a really well documented program, so a quick search online will most likely give you some good results. Thanks again for watching.